This is Karen Brockney for Alibony.com. In this lesson, I'll show you two easy ways to sharpen your photos. Every photo you take probably needs some sharpening to make it look crisp and clear. Sharpening looks for the edges in the photos and adds more contrast to make them stand out. This process makes your entire photo look sharper. If your camera captures photos in the raw format, this is especially true because no sharpening is applied to the photo in the camera. If your camera takes photos in the JPEG format, like most compact cameras, some sharpening is applied in the camera, but you might need more to bring out the detail. If you resize your photo for the screen or for printing, the photo may get soft and need more sharpening too. It's a good idea to save sharpening until the very last task in Photoshop Elements, after you've applied other edits and resized the photo to its final size. Let's apply some overall sharpening to this photo of a sheep. To begin, duplicate your background layer. So press Ctrl J on the PC or Command J on the Mac to create a duplicate layer above the background layer. It's always a good idea to do your sharpening on a separate layer. That way you've preserved all the pixels in the original photo and if you make mistakes and want a different type of sharpening, you can just delete your duplicate layer, start over again by creating a new one. If your image has several layers in it already, you can create a duplicate layer that combines all the layers that are there. Place your cursor in the top layer in the Layers panel then on the PC, press Control alt shift and e or Command option shift and e on the Mac to create a layer that combines all the layers below. And then apply your sharpening to that top layer. Let's go back to our original sheep and apply some sharpening to this top layer, which we will call Sharpen. From the Enhance menu, choose Adjust Sharpness. You may have noticed that there's an Auto Sharpen option on the Enhance menu. I never use that because the Adjust Sharpness dialog box gives us much more control over the sharpening that we apply. In the dialog box, check Preview so that you can see a preview of the sharpening as you work. Under Remove, choose Lens Blur as the sharpening effect. For Radius, set a radius between 1 and 1 1.5 pixels for your photos. This is the width of the sharpening along the edges. And Amount is the amount of sharpening that you are applying to those edges. If you check More Refined, the sharpening you apply adds a little bit extra crispness and takes a little bit longer to process. But that's just a personal preference. You can leave this unchecked if you want or check it for a little bit sharper effect. The slider that we will work with the most is Amount. Drag the Amount slider all the way to the left to show your image unsharpened in the preview. Then slowly drag the slider to the right until you see a sharpness that you're happy with. You can click on the image in the dialog box to the left to show the sharpening before and after. This toggles off the sharpness that you've applied. When you're done, click OK. If the image looks a little too sharp for you, in the Layers panel you can reduce the opacity to reduce the sharpening effect so you have even more control over this sharpening by using the Opacity slider in the Layers panel. Also, change the blend mode of the sharpening layer to Luminosity. If your sharpening introduced any halos around the edges of the image, the Luminosity blend mode will reduce the effect of those halos. What if you want to sharpen just one small area of a photo? This photo of raspberries has some very sharp berries right at the forefront, but the background is a nice blurred effect, and I want to keep most of the photo still blurred, 
but only sharpen these berries in the foreground. Press Ctrl J on the PC or Command J on the Mac to create a duplicate layer above the background layer. And this time, instead of using the Adjust Sharpness filter, we're going to use a tool on the toolbox, the Sharpen tool. The Sharpen tool will be found in the same category of tools as the Blur tool, and it's that little triangle. In the Tool Options, set the mode to Normal, choose a large, soft, round paintbrush, keep the strength at about 50%, and choose a brush size that you can use to paint over the parts of the image that you want to sharpen. Check Protect Detail. Protect Detail really will help this sharpening look good without over sharpening those edges. So now paint with your paintbrush over the parts of the image you want to sharpen. And I'm just painting over these few berries here and a little bit of that container. And over here, I'll press the left bracket to reduce the brush size a little bit and just paint over a few of the berries on the top that are out of focus. That little bit of sharpening added a lot of Christmas to the photo, but it kept that nice, soft, blurred background as well. If you've sharpened a little bit too much, you can reduce the opacity. And also make sure you change the blend mode from normal to luminosity to avoid any halos or, or color shifts along the edges. To summarize what we've done, sharpen your photos at the end of your workflow after editing and resizing them. Always create a duplicate layer to apply your sharpening. Use the Adjust Sharpness filter for overall sharpening and use the Sharpen tool for small areas of sharpness. Set the blend mode of the sharpen layer to luminosity and then adjust the opacity of the sharpen layer to adjust the strength of the sharpening.